Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I am back with another plant tour. Last time I did a indoor plant tour, so definitely check that out if you're interested. And then, um, so today's video is going to be a vegetable and fruit garden tour. So make sure to subscribe and like this video if you like it. And here is my garden. We have Xenia hanging out with us for the plant tour. And also Sydney. The first thing I'm going to start with are the peppers. So we've had some that die. The ones that are alive, we have um, a lipstick pepper right here, a bell pepper, a banana pepper, and then the rest that don't have labels, we don't know exactly what they are. They're probably bell peppers. Oh, what's this one? Uh -huh. Yeah, this one's a bell pepper. And then this is a tomato. I don't know why it's in here, but I'll just let it grow. Then in the next box, I have some tomatoes. Um, this one is really small because we just planted it, but as you can see, we have some really big ones. And we have some blooms coming, which if you didn't know, that means some tomatoes are gonna start growing there. So the peppers and um, tomatoes are both in these rolly things and you just fill up water right here. And just a little tip with tomatoes, if you didn't know, you're not supposed to get their leaves wet. If you do, it's not the end of the world, but um, yeah, that's why I have them in here. I just put the water in here and it's kind of a self watering type thing. You probably noticed I just made my plant labelers out of a cork and a toothpick. I actually propagated the mint plant. I just bought some mint from the store and then I took a stem with a leaf on it, put it in some soil and it just took off. In here we have cilantro. Originally we had a lot of herbs in here, but most of them died, but the ones that are left are um, thyme right here and then um, some basil. This is lemongrass and then this is lavender and there's a little moth. I hope he's okay, but he's just laying in there. And then there is also some chives in here as well, kind of mixed in with the lemongrass. Over here I have two large um, garden boxes, so I'm going to start with this one. Um, right here, all of this is lettuce. It is mostly romaine lettuce. There's a little bit of red leaf lettuce. Over here I have some Swiss chard. They're still pretty small. Over here is some spinach. And then right here and right there is cabbage. It's not really forming that well. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's gonna do that well this year. I have some kale right here. Then the last thing in this garden box is some broccoli. Um, I think there's some bugs attacking it, but I don't spray my vegetables. As you can see, this garden box is really full. So first we have some soy. These two are both parsley, just a different type. Over here are radishes, and they'll probably be ready to pull pretty soon. Um, let's try to find one that's kind of sticking out here. Okay, so you can see it's kind of red right here, so it'll probably be ready to pull pretty soon. There's some carrots over here, and they're actually mini carrots, so they won't grow as tall as over here I have some peas and I've been trying to plant peas for like a couple years now and it just never really works out for me. I don't really know what's wrong, um, but here it is. 
Next we have the ginormous zucchini. It's like taking over. Um, probably next year I won't plant it as close to what it is to other plants now because it is like wrapping its vines around some of the plants and it even went all the way over here and it started wrapping its vines around some of the Swiss chard. So it's kind of a bully. This one is kind of hard to tell that they're separate, but over here is a spaghetti squash. And then right over here in the corner is a cucumber and here are some balloons right here. I usually keep these inside, um, but since this is a vegetable and fruit garden tour, I just thought I would show you. Um, I have some celery greens growing and then also some carrot greens growing and there's no leaves on them because I just cut them and used them for something. I'm planning on doing more plant tours because I also have um, like a front yard flower garden and then also a um, butterfly garden where all the pollinator plants are. So um, I'll at least have two more plant tours coming pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like this video. And I will see you in another video. Bye!